Today we will be reviewing Gibson Custom Shops Les Paul Adam Jones Artist Model. In production for quite some time, this Silver Burst model was available for pre-order in late August 2020 and was released in October of 2020. We will also be asking the questions, does the Silver Burst paint job give Gibsons a different tone than other finishes? What pickups come in the Adam Jones Silver Burst? And why do Silver Bursts change color over time? Gibson was owned by Norland from 1969 to 86, and the quality of Norland era Gibsons has been long criticized. Gibson first released the Les Paul Custom and a Silver Burst finish from 1979 and throughout the mid 1980s. The color was actually somewhat a poor seller as the guitar players of the 1980s opted for more colorful or traditional finishes. The Silver Burst seemed to gain some traction in the early 1990s when Chris Cornell of Soundgarden was seen playing them live as the grunge movement gained full force. The Adam Jones Les Paul Custom is based on Jones' 1979 Norlin era Les Paul Silver Burst and is available in two versions. The non-vintage unsigned version that has an MSRP of $5,999 and limited to only 150 and the vintage age signed version lists for $10,000 and limited to 79 Jones reportedly has at least five one of them being his main guitar a 79 with a mirror on the headstock okay. <laughs> you want to put it on there I think I'm good not putting the mirror on. That's good. I would have returned it. If I myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so there's the, uh, the whole nine. Oh, wow. An actual 79 serial number. Alessandro, Potts, and Mysterious long sought after bridge pickup. While Jones has stated it was a standard Seymour Duncan SH4JB distortion pickup, it has long been rumored that it is, in fact, a custom pickup. Seymour Duncan made for Adam and is not open for purchase to the general public. Many have debated that it was close to the SH-6 pickup, but somewhat different. The Les Paul Custom Silver Burst dons the Fenograph logo that started in the early 70s. Unboxing.
Mechanicals. Here is a look at the pots inside the volume control cavity. Here is a look inside the pickup selector cavity. Here is at the pickups. Here is our dirty tone on the tremolo verb. Jones is known for his diesel VH4 and Marshall Super Bass amps through Mesa Cabs. Mesa, sorry. Mesa. Mesa Cabs. Through Mesa Cabs. He also used dual and triple rectifiers in the 1990s. He is also known for ruling back the volume control on his guitar for his tone and using a lot of palm muting. We will be playing into a Mesa dual rectifier tremolo verb as well as a Mesa dual rectifier maverick. Here is our clean tone on the tremolo verb.
Does the silver burst paint job give vintage Gibsons a different tone than other finishes? No. The paint used on the Norland era silver burst was actually automotive paint used on cars from manufacturers such as GM and Ford, as Gibson was headquartered in Kalamazoo, Michigan, at the time and remained there until 1984. The metallic flake is usually, usually flakes of aluminum, which has no magnetic properties and thus would not affect tone. Why do silver bursts change color over time? The original silver burst paint had a nitro seclusive liqueur. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can drink it. Nitro cellulose lacquer. <laughs> the original silver <laughs> the cool. Go good with some lime and mint julep. The original silver burst paint had a nitro cellulose lacquer that yellowed over time and it gives the guitar a yellow slash brownish green color as it ages. Yeah. <laughs> and yellowed over time as it gives the guitar a yellow brownish green color as it ages. What bridge pickup comes in the Adam Jones Silver Burst? The reviews are listed below. Thanks for watching. Very good.